Hi guys, and welcome back to Supreme Ruler Ultimate. Last episode, we started our new campaign, Soviet Union and Communist China versus the world, trying to unite the world under a new Great Red Warsaw Pact. And the first Indochina War has started. Dema has been trying to help North Vietnam in that. And in this episode, the Korean War is going to start. So it's going to be a pretty action-packed episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh-oh. It's the Americans. They brought mounted infantry. They are actually sending some kind of assistance. That's so interesting. They didn't do that when we were playing. So this update I fixed mean, some uh, stuff. I might need you to uh, come help if uh, they get too serious. If they get too serious, yeah. They don't look that serious yet. I'm literally trying to take the port. Because if I could take the place with the airport, then. Oh! Great Britain showed up. Just with some planes. <clears throat> They're probably from Hong Kong. Too many of your guys are attacking from inside the jungle. They're getting torn apart because of it. You have like a bunch of artillery. Up in the front, getting attacked by infantry yeah, I in know. the jungle. Yeah, that's part of the problem with the AI controlling to an extent. To be fair, you were the one that charged all those things over there. One big problem with China at the start is they have a lot of defensive equipment, artillery and anti-air. They don't actually have a lot of offensive equipment. Yeah, I'm working on changing that, but I need time to do so. Your AI is sending stuff to help the Viet Cong in the West. They've pretty much pushed up to that capital. There's some, there's some air power over there. That's what's giving them problems. They're doing what I had to teach you how to do. Hey! I'm trying to uh, have Vietnam come in and attack, but... You know what? I'm just moving my units back. Yeah, like I said, having units over there, not the greatest idea to begin with. Remember, you can control battle zone controls. Don't forget that. You can pretty much set that place as off limits. I'll try to help them take it so they can help. Well, if you uh, want to help them take it, you can, you got to start sending in infantry, air, that kind of stuff. Sending a bunch of artillery, anti-air, and some... Other motorized mechanized units into the jungle is not it's never a good day never a great idea well that's the only thing I have right now well you don't want to use it in the jungle there I set uh, the one zone as a uh, high priority hopefully my yep. don't forget you can actually set uh, specific hot spots on the the first tab Oh, look at it. Okay, the French Laos lost that capital and moved it. The United States has actually deployed over a million troops now. They've doubled their military since the start of the game. All right, I'm officially going to support the government of Yugoslavia. Hopefully that doesn't make me broke. I'm going to try to make them like me more and more and finish their alignment into the Warsaw Pact. If I can get them allied, that's another force in Eastern Europe. Uh pretty militarized force at that to hold off what is the insane western block come on uh north vietnam push at the viang chan they're moving units i just don't know where they're moving them they're like so following they a bunch of waypoints if they take that, and then it'll give a wider area for us. British Malay, an armed insurgency in British Malaya against the government. Uh, condemn the government. Wait, isn't that a benefit us? Because aren't they uh, against Great Britain? That does benefit us, so condemn uh, the government. Condemn the government, not the... Remember, I'll, do as I, I say. Pray. My brain uh, lapsed because I'm like, wait, uh, we want to promote the insurgency, condemn the government. I'm so used to 
It, yeah, it like remember, so, some of them are direct. some of them are tricky, so you want to be careful. That's why my br that's <laughs> what happened with my brain. How are the like... opportunistic goods in this world? Timber and electricity. How did that happen? Uh, don't ask. I may not be hogging up resources. I'm actually consuming more electricity now. A big usage of a lot of my resources, though, is just this deal with North Vietnam. In which I have to send 11 more days worth of 3,000 tons of military goods. When that's over, my economy should be in much, a much better state. I'm just hoping I can get this uh, North Vietnam War done, but we'll see. The actual Korean War is supposed to start, historically speaking, on June of this year. With a two-month time difference. Well, keep, keep in mind a two-month time difference for when it might actually start. So anywhere from April to August. Basically. Be prepared. North Korea usually can solo South Korea in the Cold War, but if the US, for example, sends any troops... Uh, well, they I don't need think they'll be able to, considering I'm tying up a lot of forces with... I mean, we've barely seen any U.S. troops actually over here, so I don't think it's as crazy as you might think. Is North Vietnam actually accepting that that's all the land they want? North Vietnam usually doesn't play very fast-paced aggression. They go slowly, and they have to because their only, like, offensive units are guerrillas, which move super slow. What I was saying is, the more land they have... And well, the yeah, they are moving they stuff, though. You pushed the ahead with a bunch of motorized, stuff. mechanized units. They started with a bunch of infantry in a clump. Look how slowly their infantry move. And the, the thing is, also, they move on waypoints, Demma. They get somewhere, they realize how much the status has changed in their country by the time they get there, and then they move somewhere else based on the new state of the country. In this playthrough, I'm trying to limit uh, the amount of mechanized units I have, at least at the start. Uh, in this playthrough, mechanized units are going to be pretty important. In World War II, about... they're not as important because they're not as good. At the time of the Cold War is where they really start getting advanced and become really helpful. In Vietnam, it's not as useful, yeah. In Korea, though, it is. It's pretty useful. Despite, they have a lot of trees there, but it's still very useful there. A, a lot of their trees don't actually count as close combat like the jungles do, that's why. Oh, what uranium's is becoming an opportunistic good. Because the U.S. is consuming a lot of it, and nobody else is really making it except Belgian Congo. It doesn't even show I, that the U.S. is making any. Yeah, the U.S. isn't making any. Would you say 4.7% inflation is pretty good? Uh, yeah. For this time period. Mine's at 9.1 and I'm not even stressing it. So out of everyone in the world, France has lost the most people. So far, in fighting. Oh my goodness, I selected one of your puppet states and it sent me right to you. I was going to ask one of your puppet states for a unit type. No, that's not how that works. You, I... you can't negotiate with a puppet state. You can only negotiate with the owner of the puppet state. Check, if you if you want something from someone else in the Warsaw Pact, Check you can check the ones that are not puppets. Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Poland, East Germany. What does the he problem is have? I was looking for a unit that you technically have. What's that? The paratrooper. Didn't buy it from me. That's fine. Hell, I mean the paratroopers aren't that great. I hope you know that. Well, it was. I was looking for a unit, and I mainly wanted. Hold on, let me see which one I mainly. If you want one of those elite infantry, that would be more like the spec. The Spetsnaz, or I was for example, for the, something related to the Elite Guard. 
Yeah, okay, so Spetsnaz on my end, or if you go to East Germany, the Brandenburgers, remember those? That's their version. A lot of other countries don't have versions of that. So either come to me for the Spetsnaz or go to East Germany for the Brandenburger. I don't care. If you want my Spetsnaz, that's fine. How much is that unit uh, thing worth? Uh, it'll tell you when you put it in the trade. It just says under a million. Yeah, it, the designs aren't actually ranked as being worth a lot. Just send me however much you want to send me. It's fine. It's a design that will become outdated with time. I don't even use my own Spetsnaz, because I have something better than Spetsnaz. What do you have? Combat engineers. <laughs> They're a fuck ton more expensive, but they do everything the Spetsnaz do, but better. Except that they need fuel. And their reaction time isn't great. But other than the reaction time, the fuel... Wait, you're talking about the motorized uh, no. combat engineer? No. Just the combat engineer. Not motorized engineers. Because I'm seeing combat engineer, but it has a... Truck vehicle. Yes, it is a truck. Should I get both of them? And I'll be like, okay, uh... I don't know if you want the combat engineers, personally. I I like them. I like them more than the Spetsnaz, but for your purposes, they may not be as good. Because they're well, literally... I'm talking, about I'm talking about combat engineers for purposes of uh, Korea. Um, yeah, Korea. Uh, well, still, I mean, again, taking, taking into account, they military goods-wise, they require... 10 times the amount to make, pretty much. They require five times the annual maintenance. They're a lot more expensive to build. They'll consume a lot more of your resources. I am sending them a constant 37 military tons of goods, 37 every single day, and the only way, and I have no way of directly canceling it unless I break all treaties with them. So it looks like I'm just set to fund them Oh my god, the price of military goods is going up even more. That's hilarious. I'm just gonna stop making food altogether because buying it is just so cheap. So cheap. Yeah, I just cheap. literally scrapped all my facilities regarding agriculture. I didn't have facilities, so I just set the industry output to zero. And I'm just buying whatever food's on the market. Where the fuck did they get this recon from? <gasps> Composite division. Are they like buying troops from people? I don't know where else they're getting these recon units. What's all this fighting over here? It's the French. Fucking French flying around with their fucking planes. That's the British. Uh, it's the French and the British. Well, I saw the British flag. That doesn't look like a fun place for those gorillas to attack. At least not the direction they're going. They're stepping out into open ground. That's not going to end well yeah, for them. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get my units. They're doing big here. damage, but uh, that's not going to end well for them. I'll tell you that much. Hey, look, another Portuguese artillery piece. Oh, okay. Albania's starting to like me more. I didn't even do anything. And Yugoslavia is starting to like me more, which is good because I actually am doing things to make them like me more. I've been pouring money into their government. Wonder why they have such different treasuries. Ooh. If I can get Yugoslavia to join me, that'll definitely help cement my control over there. That'll be helpful. I'm Afghanistan would be a good part. one. I don't have the money to try to go for two different nations at once, so I'm gonna. Decide that the very militarized Yugoslavia is a lot more important than the not militarized at all Afghanistan. There's India too, but Yugoslavia is more militarized than India. I'd just like to point that out. Probably more advanced too. My population is extremely static, by the way. I see your emigration is through the roof compared to your immigration, so I know what your social spending looks like, especially with your domestic approval rating. Uh, but you're keeping your inflation down. I'm trading some inflation for some domestic approval and uh, keeping a stable population. 
Yours is stable regardless, just because of how many people you have. Look how far up. I know it didn't really change much recently, but I still can't believe how far North Vietnam expanded so far. Uh, yeah, they have. They've, they've slowly but surely kept pushing guys in different directions. They just have a nice little stack just guarding the road. In the south now. There's a poor random French elite guard just stuck in uh, North Vietnam as well. If North Vietnam sent all their units south, they could end it real quick. Uh, yeah, maybe. Probably. They did it in the right spots. But then again, if the NATO powers sent a lot of stuff to South Vietnam, they could end it real quick too. But could they get there quick enough for North oh, Vietnam? Oh yeah, yeah they the... could. They could because it's Fr South Vietnam, it's French Cambodia, French Laos, all these places. Hell, they can probably move through Siam. I'm falling asleep waiting for these units to get south. So I can actually push it farther. Which units? My melee units. I mean, uh, infantry. Infantry? Where? Is it these half tracks I see? No, they were ground units. Uh... Um, I'm trying to spot them. How far One north are they? Stopped. How far north are they? I lost track, my area is so big. Yeah. You have a lot of roads, not a lot of railways. That's a that's one thing that's slowing them down. Infantry don't do as well on roads as they do on rails. Roads are for, mainly for motorized units. Oh, here's a couple of them. Right by Dezo. I don't know where the hell that is. Oh, there it is. I Look, see. What's the yeah. Janan? I see. That's why uh, naval landing craft are pretty useful, or just giving them the order to do a naval transport rather than just right-clicking them and telling them to run down there. You know what? I'm giving the order to have no units in these northern battle zones to help push southward. I love how China has just a mishmash of, like... Soviet and old allied equipment. Like, you have Shermans from the US because of their aid during World War II. Sphere change. Columbia moved from the NATO leaning sphere of influence to non aligned. That's good. I mean, hey, Columbia. To get them. Oh, wait, no. They moved to from non aligned. So, opposite. They're, they're being That's a little bad. pro. U.S. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, by the way, you have one of the mill cap penalties now. You have the largest army. Oh, great. Oh, even more. Several people moving to NATO leaning, including Andorra, which I predicted, uh, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia. A lot of people becoming friendly with uh, the good old U.S. of A. And another one, the East Indies. Which, that's great. Why are they all changing towards NATO? Oh my god. It's always the opposite of what the player is. I feel like there's some sort of like hidden mechanic to make life harder for the player. It's probably it... some penalty, player-based penalty. Like yeah, I don't know. Check if... Because we haven't done much of anything to have this much of the world not like us. I mean, a big part might just be that all these places are democracies except for Saudi Arabia. So they would naturally get along with the U.S. better. Just changing relations Well, I'm saying it's time. probably a player-oriented penalty where it's like, Maybe. check to see if this is a player. All I know is, it all, every time I play a Cold War, it feels like the AI uh, always align against me. There's probably like a 5% penalty or something like that for being a player. Yeah, there, there's some kind of penalty because it's always the opposite of whoever you're, you are. Is that you moving all those? Is that the AI? That's me moving all these. I'd say that's a lot of units for the AI to move all at once. 
I'm being very selective. I've basically set already to move close but not on the um, location. The types of units sent being sent over there is going to be pretty brutal. I know, but this is all I have. And because this is what you have, makes me wonder why you're not just pushing southeast down the road, and why you're pushing into a jungle. And Mexico has moved to NATO leaning, which is funny, because they like me. If they like me, why are they becoming friends with the US? Like. There, there is some anti-player modifier at work here. There has to be. Panama went NATO leaning. Why is the entire world going NATO leaning? Oh my god. Might as well have set this on hard mode. I finally managed to reverse my inflation a little bit and to do a little bit. And to do it I had to raise taxes back up a little bit and lower some other things. You look here like you might ha be having some wonderful supply issues over there. Hey look, your infantry is finally getting over there. Oh god, all that infantry is terrible. I want to know how something like French Louse has enough ammo to keep shooting at you. Yeah, I know, right? It's almost like France and other places. Hey, the gorillas are actually know. doing something. The gorillas are destroying some garrisons. Imagine if you had units like that that could do that. Yeah, imagine if I started with those types of units. The, the Vietnamese gorillas are way OP. In other news, the North Korean war should be starting soon. Oh god, you're charging in howitzers! Wait, what? Some how a howitzer just like charged in and it looks like more. I didn't as even well. ha I didn't even have a I didn't even send that. Like I didn't oh, even send that one. unit uh set. That's the AI doing that. Oh wait, that's yeah, that's the AI. Man. This is this is why you don't buy Chinese products, people. Look at how many troops are here and they can't take this one little village. Look at look at how many troops are here and they destroyed this area. <laughs> by Vietnamese, I guess. Oh my god, are you actually gonna take this place? Are you actually gonna brute force? I don't know. You have anti-air guns on the front. <laughs> All those cab are almost dead. There's only one garrison left in that whole place. Ammo is not reaching your front line. I'm being taught how to use the Atlas. You're charging in even more anti-air guns. It's getting real intense, boys. T26, run away. Oh, man. You might get this, or this garrison unit might go down in the history books. Find out next time. A mounted no. infantry arrives. Did you run the T-26 back into combat? I think you did. This garrison will fall. <laughs> Chinese tactics, they learned from the Russians. There is no retreat, only victory. <laughs> you will fall, you will become part of North Vietnam.
And you got it! Alright boys, get over to Udon. Get Udon. those Udon noodles. That's, that's Siam. You can't attack Siam. You're not at war with Siam. Oh. I wonder when's, when's this North Korean war gonna start, because it should be starting soon. I hope it doesn't start for a little while, because, uh, I'm It so... should be starting soon. But yeah, because all your fucking troops are in the fucking jungle, like... The, the great Chinese army, mostly defensive units, all in the Vietnamese jungle. You can set hotspots on individual places, otherwise setting battle zones and so, oh god. Hey, there it is! Uh, the Korean War just started. I'm gonna support, support that. war. Yeah, support war. And let's take a look at Korea, boys! Let's go! Look at this shit! You're gonna have to hang out for a little bit. Oh, there's man. some US troops over there. There's some US troops over there. My god, this is already such a brutal fight. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Holy crap. This is already quite a brutal fight from the get-go. Well, at least they look like they're holding their own even against US forces. Mm-hmm. I'm offering... I'm offering them mutual fence defense now that they've already declared war, just in case, because they could use it, it looks like. It's a brutal well, fight from the get-go. Whatever I can uh, support them with, I'm supporting them with. Uh, I turned on mutual defense, so in case I need to help them, I will help them. Party high, bam. Look at them charging all these units in. Oh my god, there's just so much blood and death. There's so much blood and death on both sides. What is, uh, what do they have for military goods? Ooh, North Korea needs military goods. North Korea, here's like 50,000 military goods for free. Actually, do you have money? Uh, you don't have a lot, so here's a bunch for free. Yep. I just sent them 50 fucking thousand tons of military goods for free. That is a lot. Hey, it, it's not for free because they're... And I, uh, my, my AI is also uh, sending some troops down there. So I'm, I'm helping them directly and indirectly. I'm sending what I can over there. <laughs> My treaty uh, integrity just took a hit. I wonder why. Maybe supporting a warmonger or something. Alright, boys, it's my time to shine. Oh, hell, Greater Korea. I'm giving whatever support I can get. While I try to finish this one more. Oh, this is insane, dude. This is absolutely batshit crazy. So, I wonder if my added pressure on Vietnam will cause them to limit their exposure to, uh... Oh, look at this. Oh, there's so much good death that could happen right now. Oh, look at it. It's happening. It's happening. Look at all the death. Let's go, North Korea. We got this. My AI is just sending more and more troops. We got this! Let's make a greater Korea! Oh, look at it, it's beautiful. How you doing on military goods, my boy? You're burning through it quick, but that's okay. I sent you a lot. We'll kill many South Koreans before you run out. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the little bit of Chinese Oh, oh! There. Region Falls! Uh, Laos is gone. Laos is dead. Yup. And North Korea and is just charging in with my help. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is awesome. It's going so well. There's some more American troops hiding in the back, but it's 
fine. We're gonna make a greater Korea today. And the Korea that comes out will be, well, greater than ever. Oh, American planes! Uh-oh. I got your back. I'm bringing some anti-air and stuff. Hey. Oh, so is my AI. <laughs> and some artillery and some old recon. Some tank. Oh, wait, no, that's you. Mine is still sending more, though. I'm literally mm. sending what I have mm. in uh, reserve. This is amazing. Here. This is amazing. Mm. 